In the next five minutes, we're going to be setting up the Google Cloud Console inside your NADN environment so that you can gain access to using Google Drive, Gmail, Google Sheets, Google Calendar, Google Slides, pretty much the most important integrations inside NADN. This is particularly useful if you are self-hosting NADN because you're going to have to do this if you want to access the Google applications here. Now, if you are in the cloud uh, or if you're in the cloud version of NADN, you're still going to need to do this if you want to access Google Drive. So in either instances, it's a good idea to set this up. Now, this gave me a lot of anxiety the first time that I actually went through the process of setting this up because I felt like by going through their documentation here, um, it just felt like I was like having to bushwhack my way through the Amazon rainforest. It looked, uh, it was just pretty, pretty complicated stuff. So what I did instead is I created my own documentation, which will be for free down below in the description to walk you step by step through how to set up every single one of these nodes. Um, and this is going to be in the quickest way possible. With that being said, let's get into this right now. So the first thing is, is we're going to actually head over to the Google Cloud Console. So we can just type in Google Cloud Console inside uh, Chrome here. And here we go. This is what we're going to be using. Now, I want to preface a couple things. Number one, you'll want to log into your actual or well, the correct Google account that you want to have this under. And if you're brand new to the cloud console, they may prompt you to add payment, a payment method in here. They're probably never going to charge you for this, but it is a requirement to get started. I didn't do this just because I've been using Google for so long, but I think that this may be a requirement in order to set this up. So if that is the case, please go ahead and do so. They're probably never going to bill you for it. They just want your credit card on file and they'll give you $300 of cloud credits, which I have never used to this point in time and I never probably will. Past that, we'll go ahead and create a project in the Google Cloud Console. So we'll hit this select a project here and we're going to create a new project up top here and we can call this NADN Connection. This name is arbitrary. You can label it however you want. And once this is completed, we can circle into that particular account. Okay, sweet. So it's all set up here. We'll select a uh, project here and we'll go into that NADN connection. So you can have multiple of these accounts if you choose to do so. Now, the next step here is we want to enable all of these APIs. So we need to actually like turn these on so that um, so that in we can actually access them inside NADN, like Google Drive, Gmail, all the way to Google Slides. And so how we do that is in the Google Cloud Console, we're going to search for the Google Drive API. So let's go ahead and search for that up top here. And we're gonna select the first link here and just click Enable. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to rinse and repeat for all of the remaining five APIs that we want to add into our account here. So we'll search for the next one, which is Gmail. Do the same thing, click into it and enable. And then we'll go to the Google Docs API after this and do the same thing. This is kind of <laughs> repetitive work, but the cool thing is, is you only have to do this once. Okay, we'll go to Google Sheets now. <clears throat> enable this Google Calendar <clears throat> almost done here and lastly Google Slides okay so all of the APIs are going to be turned on now meaning that we will be able to you know now access them. There is a couple more th steps to this process that we have to do. This the next step is the OAuth screen. This I think is just, I'm not entirely sure, but I think this is just essentially authenticating who you say you are, just making sure Google knows that you are the right person to be connecting into your accounts and you have all the right credentials to do so. And um, you'll see here, I'm saying hit the hamburger helper in the top left corner. At any point in time during this whole um, documentation, if you ever land on a page that you shouldn't be on or you get stuck or lost, all you have to do is follow this one step, which is hit the hamburger helper here and then go to API and services. And then we're going to be back where we need to be. And so I just did that. I hit API and services. And then we're going to choose OAuth consent screen in the left sidebar, which is right here. And we'll click there. And I want to get started down here. So I'll go ahead, choose get started, and it's just gonna ask us a couple questions. 
The first one is, is the name of the app, which I'll just put in as NADN. By default, you should probably only have one email here on file and you'll just select that. I'm gonna choose external here. I think this is just meaning that we can add like external users or test users to this application, which we'll add ourselves and we can even add other people too. And then Google wants a, a way to actually get in contact with you. So I'll add in my email here and then just agree to the terms of service. Hopefully this isn't asking for uh, a million dollars or for, you know, for my firstborn child, uh, fingers crossed. Otherwise I'm totally screwed and we're good to go. And the next step here is we need to create a OAuth connection. But again, if we uh, if we get lost, we can just hit the, the, the hamburger helper, go to API and services and we're back again. And so actually before that, we're gonna go to this next step right here, which is clicking on the OAuth consent screen again. Okay, and then this time we want to head over to the audience on the sidebar. And with the audience, what we're gonna do here is we're going to add test users. So inside this test user down here, we'll just add our own email in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and we are good to go. I'm gonna save this. I'm also gonna publish the app too, just in case. Cool. And so now it is published and from here, I'm gonna hit the hamburger helper one more time and I'm gonna go into the API and services down here. And we're going to hit the overview tab um, here, which actually I'm going to go to the OAuth consent screen and we want to create OAuth client, which is this button right here. So we'll go ahead, choose this. The type of application will be a web application. We can give it any name. This is arbitrary, um, but I'm going to call it NADN. And then all we have to do is enter in this authorization redirect URI. Just want to point out that this, you definitely do not want to add any information in. So just skip that. All we need is this URI over here. So we'll hit plus there and we need a link. Now, this is a link that we get from within NADN. So if you go ahead and open up a scenario in NADN and you just add any of these modules here. So I'm just going to go ahead and add like Drive, Google Drive and I'll choose copy a file and we'll hit the um, credentials to connect with and add a new credential. We should have this particular URL right here. And this is exactly what we're looking for. This is the redirect URI that it's asking for. So we'll paste it in here and then that is good to go. We'll click create and we are done with this step. So the next section here is actually just authenticating the apps. So we're almost at the finish line here. From here, what I wanna do is I want to, um, again, go into the, uh, it's gonna redirect us over here, but we can also just hit this by going back to the hamburger helper at the top here and APIs and services. And we're gonna go to, let's just see here, credentials. And we're gonna hit this pencil icon right here. Now we have access to our client ID and we also have access to our client secret. We're gonna want this tab open because we're gonna to have to do some repetitive work again here where we're just in a nutshell connecting in all of these different APIs here to get them up running and functional. Let's start with Google Drive. So we'll open Google Drive We'll hit the credentials to connect in with and I'll create new credentials. I'm just gonna label this test for now. And we just paste in our client ID and client secret here. So we'll just go back and forth. Again, it's kind of repetitive. And we'll paste this in. And then it's gonna ask us to sign in with Google. You'll choose the right Google account. It might ask or say, hey, this app isn't verified. I'm just gonna hit and uh, advanced and then go to that link and then select all and continue. The connection has been successful. Now we have Google Drive connected. What we're gonna do is go to Gmail and do the exact same thing. We'll create new credentials. We need the client ID. We'll paste that in here. And then the client secret down below here. And we'll sign in with Gmail. We'll do the exact same thing. Just make sure to choose the right email again. <clears throat> Select all of these checkboxes, click continue, and we are good to go. Gmail has now been connected in. This is ready to use right away. 
Next one is Google Sheets, create credentials. And we will, <laughs> you named it, do the exact same thing for the third time. And client secret as well, sign in, write account, advanced, go to that link, select all, continue, and this is good to go. We'll go over to Google Calendar here, create a credential. <clears throat> I absolutely love doing the same thing over and over and over again. This is just so exciting to me. I'm sure it's the same thing with you guys as well. Cool. And there we go. Select all, continue. And last but not least, we're going to do Google Slides. And create a credential, add the client secret in here, add the uh, client ID, log in with the right account, advanced, and continue. Okay, and we're all connected. Everything is good to go. If we were to open up this Google spreadsheet now, uh, actually, let's just add another like sheets module here. And if we were to append a row, now we can actually load in all of our different spreadsheets. So we're good to go. Everything's been successful. And that is how in a matter of just a few minutes, you can connect in the entire Google workspace or all the Google apps into NADN, have it up and running. Uh, really quickly. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found value in this. Again, this whole document here is going to be down below in the description for free if you guys want to go ahead and follow this step-by-step -step guide the whole way through. And as always, if you're looking for more help with AI automation, I recommend taking a look at my school community here where there's two main goals. The first is to help people automate up to 80% of their business. I give you the exact blueprints uh, that I use to scale my business to seven figures and just replace myself from an entire Entirely. And then it's also for people looking to build AI automation agencies with a proven roadmap. There's tons of uh, support calls every single week. There's five calls in total. And there's also a, a community of like-minded people that are on the same path as you. So thanks guys for watching. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.